What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to more Let's Play Spider Man Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we finished up the Sand Mountain and also the entirety of area number two. In this episode, we're gonna enter area three. But first, we have to deal with the industrial park. I have no idea what that means. Let's go take a look. That does not look like an industrial park. It looks more like a SpongeBob Bikini Bottom part. Ah! How did we end up here? Doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili riano in a pan of grease. We have to That was help. creepy. You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? Oh snap! Well, we better figure something out, and pronto. Maybe that button on his back Kick is a here. destruct I'll try to hit That's it. That's not even a button. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop. <laughs> Who put the kidney sound? I don't think no one's been here. SpongeBob's in for a rough ride. Yeah, yes. What's that guy's name? I forget. Johnny Earhart? Yeah, that's it. Take me a second to remember there, but there you go. Oops. Okay. Now we'll let you guys listen to the music again because the music is so good in this. Seriously, listen. Is that not just amazing? It didn't really get to my favorite part yet where it, like, you know, what the entire thing goes. But anyways, your method of attacking here is waiting for Patrick to make himself dizzy by spinning. The only way to make him dizzy is if when he's doing a spin attack, if he doesn't hit you. If he hits you, he stops, and then you don't get dizzy. That attack right there. Oh, that attack is hard to avoid. It's like Chuck's aim times 30 million. I think there's actually some safe spots if you really want to. Oh my god! Ah. Oh. Well, um, see, I'm hitting it right now, but yeah, it only works. It, oh, God, it only works if you manage to hit him while you're. Ah! Haha, <laughs> you suck. Uh, what was I saying? <sighs> yeah, the attack only ha happens if he, um, if he's down and he's dizzy. Okay. Avoid all the sludge, the toxic sludge stuff from the toxic ice cream. Well, that's kind of hilarious. His main method of attack is an ice cream cone. Yep. So what do you guys think of this game so far? I mean, this is like the, what, the 21st part? I was kind of like to be asking that. What are you guys thinking? I'm really enjoying this episode. Not this episode, this game. I'm hoping it's just as fun to watch as it is for me to let's play. Okay, gotta avoid all the things, holy crap. Oh my god, oh boy. Okay, I feel like I should've gotten hit there. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's pretty usual, every third is taken down. Change characters. Whoa, that looks really weird and creepy. Oh boy. Oh, she's pissed. Whoa, that was a weird face. Whoa, there's two Johnny Earhart's. They're both talking there. Anyways, the, this is actually a really pretty particularly easy part, as I recall. Now watch as I die. Uh, mostly because as long as he keeps swinging, I don't think he can actually hit you, or he has a very low chance of doing so. And he is hitting a whole bunch of boxes down, oddly enough. I don't really get why. I mean, it's not like it's not like you know we need to step on the right thing. Oh boy! Well, now you guys see why. Oh boy! And now he's throwing up his ice cream, which yep, surprise, surprise, his ice cream even makes him throw up. We can, I would really enjoy it if I could grab this under it, please. Yeah. Alright, there we go. I don't understand why SpongeBob went after Squidward there. Like, what was he planning to accomplish? It's not like we could bash the ice. Maybe we thought we could, I don't know. I don't freaking right know. SpongeBob logic. <laughs> it is SpongeBob after all. Okay. Uh huh. Hit him. Oh, great. I don't actually know if he's stepping his goo twice. What happens? <gasps> oh! One more douse with that stuff. Well, I guess we're about to find. Uh, we gotta redo it all. Dang it! Oh! 
Look at that aim! Seriously, I gotta show that. I was freaking like, how did it know I was gonna be there? I was moving around, so uh, this game, this game's AI in like some places like that's fantastic. It's too good almost. Okay, perfect opportunity. There we go. Okay, now we're back. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Oh boy, what happens? How's he know that? Spongebob will be back in the room and look how long he throws up now. Oh boy. Okay. So as long as we keep swinging on here, it should be hard for him to hit me. There we go. Okay. okay you spin around. Are the boxes falling down by themselves? I guess they are, which is weird. It's like you would imagine, like, why are boxes falling from the roof? <laughs> I don't like he's pounding the ground or anything. There we go, okay. See, that was risky. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, it's risky to jump over here, but I guess not, since a box just randomly appeared there. It didn't even fall, it just appeared there. Whoa! Oh, there you go. Um, guys should probably get out of there. Oh, get out of there, SpongeBob! There you go. That does it! SpongeBob is. And that is now a hint, I guess. Oh my god! Okay. That only frees you for a second. It only takes one health down. But oh no, it does it actually doesn't take any health off. You get frozen, he then spits at you, and then that's what takes damage. I should probably go this way, actually. It does make a lot more sense. Alright. So the SpongeBob or the sandy portion actually is really easy. Well this portion is actually pretty difficult, especially because you're always like you're on these Escalators. Oh god! See, and that's hard to hit them. You do have a time limit to do this. There we go. I better. S what? Why would I change tactics? That worked out perfectly, sir. Okay, don't hit me. Don't touch us. Okay, yeah, I actually have to go this way. Make way! Oh wait! Was that going that way before? Oh boy. Yeah. Now, where are you gonna land this time? Ah, see, now he's all the way on the other I side. Prime right here. Yeah, I was hopefully we can make it! Oh, see, like, as I barely made that. Alright. Uh, did we make that? Yes, we did it! This match is just about over! Are you not gonna say it? I thought for sure he was gonna say it. Okay. Kinda wanna show what happens when you get hit by. Oh, there we go. I was surprised he didn't say this match is just about over. That's like his number one lie that everyone remembers from this game. Oh boy! Uh, <laughs> don't you dare! No! Oh, perfect! It looks like I think. Has an yes! Here. I do indeed, and... BAM! Goodbye, Robot Patrick that just disappeared randomly. You even had Patrick's voice. They grew up so guys. fast and explode. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but... I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. His We'd brain just wiggled. If it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. <laughs> what? He pooped his pants. A poop pants joke. Well, okay then. Well, take it. And there we go. That is Industrial Patrick, and that's a weird saving game. I'm background sorry, thing. Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. It I is. Never been there yet. Golden spatulas to get I in. I tried to get in there rather. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. What's <laughs> that thongs? Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. Maybe that was supposed to be a joke because it says throngs of the unwashed, like unwashed so thongs. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you. We're gonna have to go out <gasps> there and get those golden spatulas. Oh or I'll boy. Never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. Your robots? Oh, uh, I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? <laughs> oh, silly mm, boy. Something's thing. fishy here. Well, you're all fish, so that would make sense. Or aquatic animals. Anyways, robot headquarters, the chum bucket. Oh, that's kind of cool right there. Click the screenshot or something. Hey, let's go take a look, because we can get in here. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really. 75? What? 
Oh, there's a TV here, too. Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. Ah, oh, snap. Who would have thought? Yes, right where you're standing. <laughs> Plankton, owner of the chum bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. What a and crazy head. Stop on your children! And stop on your children's children! This has oh, been a Plankton. Bikini Bottom news flash! Silly. They don't serve here yet. Aww. They don't serve love. I wanted to destroy the TV myself. Yeah, we need 75. But really, wait, how many do we have? 53. Oh, no. As I say, we could get in there right now if we want to, if we trade in our socks. If we had all the socks and, like, got all the golden spatula things. There's actually stuff up here. Oh, uh, I believe you want. There's something you get in here. Ah, there we go. You got your wall jump here. There we go. Aha! Oh, I got it. I was like, what? Why won't it let me jump anymore? I actually thought that was a sock, but okay, I'll take it. Take that golden spatula and shove it up my pocket. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's it. And there's a cricket in here. I don't know why. Whoa, could you actually see in there? Look at this. Something flashing across. You can kind of see in there. Huh. Cool. Well, I'm sure. That's pretty much the end. Once you go in there, that's the end of the game. I need two thirds of all the spatulas to be able to beat the game, so that's a pretty good like. Or no, not two two thirds, three fourths. Sorry, because there's a hundred golden spatulas. They should have made 126 just for the LOL sake. And then they're gonna be like, "Oh my god, you guys copied!" Oh, Mr. Krabs, oh, you don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krab's been overrun by a bunch of them hootlum robots of yours. Wow! Surprise! Surprise! Me out. And worse. They've got hold of me, beautiful, shiny the crusty crab! How dare they! What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back to the restaurant, and most importantly, rescue, rescue me, me money! money. Alright, ah. Uh, well, first off, I should show you guys the new move we got, since they don't really tell you. But you do get a new move. But first off, I'm going to show you something kind of lol -y. You can move this dumpster for a golden sock by hitting it. But if you hit it from the wrong side, it still goes that side for some reason. that way for some reason. So you can imagine if you hit it from this side, that it would go that way. But I hit it from the opposite side, so I don't freaking know. Anyways. I guess we'll call it an episode there. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, it says open, but it's not really open. Well, I guess you got kicked up before you could change the open sign. Right, let's go inside. Oh, he's trying to trap people in here to rob them of their money. Ready, set, go! Ah, oh, crap. I was gonna show you guys a new move we got before coming in here, but I guess we're not gonna be doing that. Alright. Grab that. Oh, yeah. This is called Boost Bots. That's right. B Z Z D. I don't know. B Z Z at T. Sorry. Huh. Okay, so there are duplication trons. Oh, boy. Uh huh. Pick it up here, please. Oh, boy. Oh no! I'm so dead! Okay, this is pretty difficult. I was like, could we do it? Could we do it? Okay, I don't uh, How should we go about doing this? The, can things. Oh, they can't see me from over here! Can they still see me from over here? Yep, they can totally. Oh, but he can't hit me from over here. Okay, so. I guess I'm gonna do this the cheap way. This is the cruise bubble! You press L, and I get hit. Okay, press L, and you can destroy things with it! Oh, it's a long-range missile, and it's pretty fat that right? Oh, really? I wish I ever got hit there if I just hit something with my cruise bubble. Okay, let's, we gotta do this quickly. Ah, there we go, okay. Now that we have a way of passage, we can go up here. Oh, if I can make it up here. Thank you. Uh-huh. Boy, you. Come over here. Oh, I guess if you want to, we can also hit the, the Thunder Tiki, or we can even hit the... Oh, something's up there. Oh, great! Yeah, we can either hit the Thunder Tiki, or we can just hit Chuck himself with the Cruise Bubble. Anyways... We've actually almost successfully done this. So I did do it kind of from kind of a cheap spot, but this is really freaking difficult. Hit you. And the music here is actually interesting. It's the same music they use in a future. Well, actually, the next level we'll be tackling. And so a hint to all those who know who have played this game or seen another one play on it. I better not die from the bzzz bots. Okay, so these guys, how they work is they have 
two lasers. They have the green lasers, which they use to track you, and then they have the yellow lasers. Could you guys stop? Seriously? Is this necessary? Hello? Come on, drop something. Okay, I, I was just... Why are you guys cheering? Stop it. Alright, there we go. Here we all the robots! Alright. Now, we can exit here. And there's actually, we're not done the Crush Crab yet, but I'm pretty sure what we have to do... What else we have to do in there? We have to leave and then come back. Once it's reopened. Alright, what do you gotta say, Miss Crabs? You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. <laughs> oh, God. That terrible impression of the laugh. Oh, jeez. Okay, grab the golden spatula. And we're not done there yet, so let's go back here. We have so much to do now. Because this is, like, pretty much the maximum point in the game. Where you've done everything so. you need to. Oh, no. I don't want to change any objects. I'm glad that wasn't uh, automatic. Like, if I talk to him, he automatically gives me one. But alright. Yep, so now there's people in here. Including a barn that you can only see from here. If you go outside, he won't be there. And I, I found that really adorable and funny for some reason the first time I saw it. Hit the children! Okay, so the other thing we get in here is if we destroy everything. It's pretty much like the scooter one, actually. We must destroy all things that you could even. Wait, what? I was pretty sure we could destroy the condiment stand. Maybe not, though. Can't do that, though. Maybe we gotta destroy that first or something. I don't know if you have to destroy all the tiki's. I'm hoping. The heck was that? Well then, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Maybe we don't have to destroy the tiki's themselves. Well, maybe you. I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure you can destroy the condiment stand though. Maybe we have to destroy everything else first. Can I please get up here? I know we can. There we go. Yeah, that includes everything up here. Be destroy all the things. Destroy. I like all this flour underwater. It's like you can't keep flour underwater. It get all wet and just. Um, bulk up, well not really bulk up, but you know what I'm saying, dog. I hope, or maybe you don't. You probably don't. But I'm gonna pretend you do know. Don't fall out, please. God dang it. One thing I ask of you, and you don't freaking do it, freaking SpongeBob. Right. Oh, might as well hit this one from over here. Hey, there's a shiny object up there. Well, I guess we're. Well, I was gonna say, let's go over there anyways, but maybe not. Alright. Maybe we have to hit the condiment stand last, I'm pretty sure. Hello? There we go! Well, maybe you don't have to hit it last, because there's still- we haven't gotten anything from it yet. Maybe we have to just- oh, maybe- no! Yeah, that's still activated. Oh, good lord, this lady's like walking into the kitchen. There we go! And the crow's nest! So you got a golden sock. A golden spatula sock. Oh boy, alright. Give me the sock! 62, there we go! Um, I did not didn't do my timer properly, so I don't know how we're doing too well on time. I'm gonna keep going just because we have a lot to do, and I'm hoping we can do it all in this. I don't think we're going to be able to. Maybe this will just be a slightly longer one. Because mm. we haven't been doing short episodes with the Sandy Hill thing. So maybe I'll just make this a longer episode for once in my life. There we go. Can get those shiny objects finally. Uh -huh. Ah, I was like, how do we get up there? But, yep, I know how to get up here. Avoid the Thunder Tiki's! What? 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 There we go. Just like that. <laughs> oh yeah, now that we have the cruise bubble, we can actually... We have a way to destroy the stone tiki's as well, instead of just hitting them with our... Face? <laughs> Not with our face, but with our, um... Uh, thunder tiki's. Yeah, because thunder tiki's were the only way to destroy these before. And this is one of the things I was talking about that takes a lot of... Um, freaking shiny objects to get to. May I help you? Yes. Yeah, 40,000. I thought it was like over a million, but nope. I guess not. I guess I overestimated there by like over 10 times. Over 20 times, actually. Oh, we need 60 little flying Dutchmans. This level I've always been scared to do. I finally did it last night. And actually, it wasn't too hard at all. I was worrying over nothing. Okay, there's Bubble Buddy. Bubble Buddy. I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Well, I've already had the move. That's a positive alumni, SpongeBob. Yeah. Super pinky shake on it. I would. I love if shakes. I had pinkies. Oh. Here, I'll blow you some. <laughs> yeah, maybe later. Now pay attention, SpongeBob. Why would he want pinkies? This bubble's a doozy. Indeed hey, it is. Pay my entire salary and attention. When you're what? not moving. Press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that the you L can button. steer as it flies through the air. 
I don't know if they brought this up, but the fact that they say this button, I guess they scripted it like that just because, like, this game isn't only for the GameCube. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. Just under six seconds, I think, actually. Yeah, yeah. I don't really get why they give you the sponge bowl here. It doesn't really do anything. And yep, this is actually a level itself right here. Which actually this is one of my favorite levels, and the one we'll be tackling in the next episode. If you look carefully, you'll see there's some buttons up here. Um, these might be time based. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. Uh, well, anyways, get them all. And that gives us a magic trampoline that just phases out of the sand or something. And then we can use that to get up here. And I thought that's how we got that pair of golden underwear over there, but I guess not. Yeah, is there anything else we can do from up here? We can destroy those tiki's, I don't think that would do anything. Weird. I thought maybe that would activate some platforms, but maybe it does. Is there anything else we can do? Hmm, I think we're gonna run out of time here, but... Can I make it to there from here? Yeah, I see the button's turned off. I wanna get up there. Can I, like, hit this or something? Oh, right now. This isn't like the boomerang from Zelda where if you hit an object. Oh, oh I did it! Wow. Six pairs oh. of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. Indeed, you are, SpongeBob. Indeed, you are. Okay, so the crusty crab. Is there anything else to do here? Whoa! The ones are not, but the trampoline's still here. This trampoline disappears after you load something else up, but I kind of wish it stayed there. Yeah, well. Okay, so I guess that's the way to get over here if you jump, devil jump, and then just use your wand to move a bit forward. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. In the next episode, we'll actually return, we'll first off return to Jellyfish Field to get the last sock. We'll then go to Bikin downtown Bikini Bottom to get the last two golden spatulas and a sock. And I think that's it. Yeah, and then I guess we'll start off with, not Kelp Forest, not the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, but it's SpongeBob's Dream. It's weird how that's the last level, or is it? Yeah, it is the last level. Anyways, those are all the level names. Spoiled it. We only have technically three more levels left, three more full levels at least. And then we have the Patrick, Mr. Krabs, and then the final um, Chum Bucket Lab. Yeah, that's kind of sad. This, episode, this Let's Play is already almost ending. It's weird though, because we we have less than 60 spatulas. So it's like that. This only feels like a little over the halfway point, but no, we've like done most of the levels. We have three full levels left, plus the last level, plus the spatulas yet for Mr. Krabs and Patrick. I'm gonna need to start grinding soon. The grinding spot I've been talking about is actually in this level. So after I finish off this level, I'll probably be grinding star or er, star bits. I'll be grinding shiny objects off screen. Oh boy, I'm not looking forward to that at all. Not one bit. Uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris. And in the next episode, we'll tackle on the next level of SpongeBob's G. Talk to you guys later. Peace. Give me the freaking. Shiny object! There we go. Oh boy. Oh boy! Okay, I'm back. So this is- I've already recorded like an episode after this. So my spatulas are gonna be a bit different. But I'm back here because I actually forgot to grab the last sock in this area. I kept talking about it forever and ever, but I never actually finished grabbing it. Oh boy. Oh, I never talked about my story from this level! I was so excited to tell this entire Let's Play. Uh, anyways, well, I might as well tell that story now as this episode ends. I hope this isn't going too far in time. But anyways, the story is, this level reminds me a lot of bees. Now, why might you be asking that? A few years ago, I was probably like maybe 12 or 13. This this jump's really easy to hit, make a sandy, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Um, jump up here, yeah, when I was- Oh no, I missed! Oh wow, it gives me more time to tell the story. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so when I was like 12 or 13 or something like that, I was playing this game, I was on this level, and all of a sudden I hear, bzz, bzz, bzz. I'm like, oh my god, what the heck is that? It was coming from my window, and there was like two bees just stuck in my window on the inside, my window was wide open, I had the screen on it, of course, but the fact that my window was open, I was like, oh god, I was thinking maybe I can close the window and trap the bee in there, because there's no way I was messing with the bee, since so just like a few... Maybe a year before that, maybe even a few months ago before that, I got stung by a bee on the bottom of my foot when I was walking through a clover field, like the flower clover, not like the clover, like the four leaf clover, but the flowers they sprout. Oh no! No, please, no. You're not gonna hit me, are you? Okay. And so I was terrified of bees, I'm still pretty terrified of bees, actually. 
Even before I got stuck, I was pretty terrified of it. But anyways, well, first I'm gonna show this little mini glitch here. If you hit that and then go back, you can spawn infinite boulders! Although when you destroy one, the other one disappears. Yeah, see, so see up there? Anyway, so yeah, there's like two keys in my window, and I was terrified. I was trying to, like, I was trying to play this level, and like what kept happening is I kept like would stop every two seconds, like literally every two freaking seconds, and then I would like go look in the window and I'm like, oh the beast still there! And I went for one and disappeared, and it scared me. But it turned out what happened. I guess you got back outside somehow. But what it turned out to be is that there was there was a beehive right above my room outside. I was actually in an attic, I believe, so it wasn't even outside. But yeah, so that was my terrifying bee story in this game, and that's like my best, or not my best memory, I suppose, but that's like my most um, vivid memory of this game, was when I was being invaded by freaking bees uh, while I was playing this stupid game. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Once again, talk to you guys later. Peace!